Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today is a requested video day. I don't do a lot of requested videos on Saturdays because I haven't gotten a lot of emails requesting them, but one of you was kind enough to ask me, Money Mom, could you please do a video on how you stay motivated living a frugal life? Yes, the word frugal is fabulous. It means not wasting, but I also like to use the word mindful and getting the best value. So I'm going to talk today about four ways that I stay motivated. And remember, frugality, mindfulness, all of that, it's different for each person. Each of us are on a different journey. Each of us have different lifestyles. And we don't have to go all in at the same time and make tons of changes. We can do small changes over time that feel right for us. So I want to say that. Now I have four ways that I stay motivated living a more frugal, simple, mindful life. Number one, I know my why. And you know, sometimes for some people, living a frugal lifestyle or saving money is easy. I enjoy doing it, it's easy for me, it's kind of like a game. Some people it's easy for them to you know, exercise and eat properly and not overeat and stay a healthy weight. Each of us are different, but this happens to be easy for me because it's fun for me. So the first one is I know my why. Why do I want to save money and why do I want to live a debt-free life? For me, it gives me a peace of mind so that if something happens, I have the money for it because that way if you lose out on an income source or you've got a bunch of things that happen at once, you've got money in the bank. So for me, living a frugal lifestyle means that I'll be able to have money for bigger items that come up so I don't have to have payments with large interest. So knowing my why, which is that is my why, it gives me a peace of mind. That's number one. Number two, the other thing for me is I do allow for some enjoyment. I have things that I look forward to, whether it's a meal out with a friend, special things at the grocery store, buying a gift for somebody, you know, and also enjoyment. There's times where I go get a pedicure, I get my hair done, I got my hair done today, you know, I pay for that. Could I do it myself? Yes, but when I did it myself once, it was really scary and a half of my head was one color and the other half was another color. It was special, let me just say. Uh, so there are things that I enjoy spending money on, but I'm frugal in so many other areas, so it allows me to have enjoyment in other areas. So always have something you can look forward to. Each of us are going to have something different, okay? Number three, and this is a th one I need to remind myself of. I'm preaching to the choir here and I'm preaching to myself. Don't beat yourself up if things don't go well. So let's say you say, I'm, you know, you suspend. $600 a month on groceries and so you say I'm gonna spend 400 this month well instead of just trying to bring it down gradually and then you spend four hundred and seventy five dollars then you're really mad at yourself because you spent 475 rather than 400 let's look that you used to spend 600 look at little small manageable changes that you can make that are easy I always say this make it so easy you can't fail Start out small and then it snowballs and it gets more exciting rather than setting yourself, and this is good, brings me to number four, setting realistic goals that you know you can attain. Start off small. These are tips that really work for me. Are there areas that I can improve in all areas of my life, especially with frugality? Yes, there's plenty of areas because I can tend to get lazy. I have weaknesses just like everyone else, but there's a lot of areas that I feel I do a really good job and because of that, I'm able to live a debt-free life and to be able to have a healthy savings for emergencies. So I want to ask you guys, what motivates or inspires you to live a mindful or frugal lifestyle? Frugal according to you, because frugality is different for everyone. I want to hear from you. And also, thank you for requesting this video. I thought it was an excellent idea. If any of you have any video ideas or anything you want to request, send me an email. It's on my community tab. And put in the title in the email rather than putting it down below. Send it in an email and put requested video idea. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.